Hello, today we're going to do a FAST exam, which means Focused Assessment with Sonography and Trauma. Uh, so we'll be focusing on looking for free fluid in several body areas. I'll start with a sub xiphoid view. So I'll, with the abdominal exam type, I'll point my indicator towards the patient's right. Go sub xiphoid with my hand on top of the transducer so that I can um, apply some pressure in the epigastrum and then I can fan more anteriorly to bring the heart into view. Uh, we want to make sure that our depth is deep enough so it can see the entire pericardium. And we're looking for free fluid within the pericardium. Then we'll move on to the right upper quadrant where we can see the kidney and the liver and we'll also check above the diaphragm. We want to make sure that there is no fluid above the diaphragm in the lung and that we can see the reflection of the liver above the diaphragm. We also want to make sure there's more, no fluid in Morrison's pouch and that the uh, caudal tip of the kidney can be visualized to make sure there's no fluid between the liver and the kidney there. We'll move on to the left upper quadrant. For this, your knuckles go to the table reaching over the patient because the spleen is going to be more posterior. Here we can see the kidney, spleen, and we also want to make sure we uh, can see the diaphragm. Uh, could you take a breath? The most dependent area in this region is between the spleen and the diaphragm. Okay. We'll move on to the pelvis. And so I'll point the indicator to the patient's right and move inferiorly until I hit the pubic bone. Okay. And then you can uh, fan inferiorly until the bladder comes into view. So it's that uh, anechoic sac there at about four centimeters. So I'm just going to decrease my depth. And I'm going to fan through in this uh, short axis view from superior to inferior. I'm looking for a free fluid uh, between the bladder and the uterus and between the uterus and the rectum. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees so the indicator is towards the patient's head. Move down until I hit the pubic bone. And then uh, I may need to rock inferiorly. Then you can fan from left to right to make sure you visualize all the structures. The most dependent area here is going to be posterior to the cervix and the pouch of Douglas. You also want to check between the uterus and the bladder.